Okay, first things first, because this is take five, I'm just going to ask you to ignore the noise from my household. I do have two small children running around here. They are very energetic, they are very noisy, and they are currently fighting bedtime. So yeah, there's a lot of noise back there. Just ignore it, please. Welcome to another tie tying tutorial. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. First things first, if you're You've never tied a tie before, you just want to know how to tie a tie. Right here is my tutorial on the Pratt Knot. It's probably where you want to start. Okay, that's out of the way. I'm revisiting my double decker knot. I found a better way to tie it. Thanks to this tie, as a matter of fact, what happened is I went to tie my double decker knot. And those of you who've been watching my channel for, well, those three of you who have been watching my channel know that there's one point where you have to be careful to keep the one knot or the one layer on top of the other layer. What happened is with this particular tie, that's impossible. Cannot be done. I fought it for five minutes trying to keep that one layer on top of the other one. Finally, just finished the knot and looked in the mirror and realized it looked better with the layer underneath. So here's how you do it. Big end knot, big end is at or just below your belly button. And pinch it off. Then take your little end and cross it over. Push it up through the middle and back out to the side. Now, you want to keep this a little bit loose. Don't hold your finger in there as you finish tying the knot or anything because that'll mess stuff up, but you want it loose because you're going to be going through it later. Now wrap around the back and up through the middle. Now we're up around the front and back up through the middle. And we go down through here. Now if you're paying attention and you know ties, you'll realize we just tied a Windsor knot with the little end. All right, but we're not done. Now, next step. Take this little end, pull it around back, wrap it around the front, and it's not being very cooperative with me right now, but that's okay. Then, when you're back here, find that loop that I told you to keep loose, and you're going to shove your little end through that loop. Now cinch it up to your neck. Do a little adjusting. And what I like to do is I like to take my thumbs and just stick them in here and pull it tight so that I get this nice pronounced bulge between the layers. Put your collar down. And that's it. You're done. That is the double decker knot. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the knot. If you did, please hit like. If you want to see more of my charming face, or funny looking face, depending on your tastes and face, faces, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.